Okay, in this video, we're going to look at the geoprocessing uh, intersect tool. So we're going to be looking at this tool through solving a question. So let's look at the question. So the question says, suppose a new restaurant chain wants to open a new branch in Shunargao. So they want to know how many restaurants are there within a 100 meter radius from the highway and which highway road has the most least competition so that they can open the branch near that highway road. Okay. So here I have the Shunargao shape file with the main road shape file and then we have the points on Shunargao. So uh, the points here, let's open the attributes and see that the points actually are uh, representing uh, things like bus stops, bus stations, restaurants, ATMs, fast foods, etc. Okay, so the main road, let's change the color of the main road. Now, there we go, that's the highway, click on OK, now, and there we have the highway now. Okay, so first I'm going to apply buffer to the highway to know the 100 meter radius around the highway. So let's go to geoprocessing, let's go to buffer, input features, the features are going to be main roads, there we go. Now we need meters as units and then we need 100. I'm not I'm not talking about it much because we have a separate video on buffer. Now click on OK. As you can see the buffer is done and it seems that no point has intersected along with it. So that means that they can open the restaurant anywhere they want within the 100 meter radius. But for the sake of the intention of this question to see the uh, intersect we're going to increase our buffer range from 100 meters to let's say uh, 500 meters okay so let's go to geoprocessing to the buffer again we have the main roads and the degrees are going to be in meters the radius this time is 500 now okay There you go, we have the 500 meter radius. Now we want to know that uh, how many restaurants are there within this 500 meter radius around the road networks. Okay, so from these two road networks, it seems that none of the points are touching the buffer. But here we can see that some of the points are touching the buffer. Now to know which points are restaurants, what we need to do is we can use the identify and click on the individual points one by one to know if they are the restaurants or not. Or we can use the intersect. So we're going to be using the intersect. So the intersect condition is going to be two files, the files that are representing the points on Shunargao and the uh, buffered road files to know the intersect. So let's go to geoprocessing, open up intersect. There you go, input features. We need two features, the points on Shunargao feature and then we have the main roads buffer feature. So it is going to show us the intersect of the buffer and the points feature, which points are touching the buffer. Now we click on OK. Ah, there we go. We have points on Shunargao intersect three. Now what we need to know is how many restaurants are there, right? So let me, uh, let me just take a look at the attributes table of this. There we go from the attributes table. Let's see the type. So from the type, we can see that no restaurants are around that place. So again, they are free to open up uh, anywhere near uh, any of the road sections. Okay. Now, if you had to say after the intersection, make a separate shape file containing this time we have some ATMs, right? Intersecting. So we have, let's see. There we go. We have two ATMs that are intersecting it. So we need to know uh, where the ATMs are. If the, if that was our requirement for now, let's say that was our requirement. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a select by attribute. There we go. From select by attribute, change the main road to more points on Shunaga intersect three. There you go. From there, we need the types. There we go. The types equals to get unique value. The ATMs now apply and OK. So we have located the ATMs. Now we're going to make a separate file from the ATMs. So we do a right click on the intersect file. Then we're going to go to selection from there, create layer from selected features. There we go. Ah, we have the selected layers from the selected features. Let's uh, close up the points. There we go. Now we only now we only have the uh, what do you say the ATMs open here. 
So, okay. So let's see which ATMs they are. Do the open attributes table on that. Now here is a, two ATMs, okay. So there are two ATMs within the 500 meter radius of the main roads, this particular road here. So these are the two ATMs around that place. So for our question, uh, we have seen that there are no restaurants within the 100 meter radius. So you can just uh, tell them that they can open up anywhere they want. Okay, so that was the required question, but I did the 500 meters uh, to explain it, explain the intersect uh, geoprocessing of tool, and then we differentiated the ATM to see what more we can do from here. Okay, so I hope you got to understand the intersect tool, and this video was helpful for you. And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you have found the video to be useful, please like and consider subscribing to the channel as it will enable me to make more videos like this one. Thank you.